Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 138. It is a bright, sunny Tuesday morning. We're doing really well weather-wise this week. Um, we've got a new guy on site today. Um, got a new painter. Uh, he is going by and painting the Sanepa or the uh, fascia boards. Um, so I'll show you those, uh, show you him uh, as we get going along. Um, they're already working on pouring the concrete floor uh, this morning for the uh, front porch and continuing with uh, plaster coating operations now that we have cement and uh, wall cladding. Uh, Mr. Jojo is working on the front porch wall cladding as well and Mr. Allen and Alex are on the side uh, working on the uh, fiber cement board wall cladding. So um, as everybody else shows up on site um, we will take you around, show you what everybody's working on. Um, let's get started. So Mr. Uh, Gabby here is assisting with uh, Jojo cutting the stone wall cladding uh, to size for all of the locations. Um, he works, he cuts off the uh, sides to make them fit. He will also be the one cutting the 45 degree angle uh, when it gets to the right location. Um, so the way they're doing these cuts are, are typically just with the grinder here. So they'll pencil in um, where the cuts need to be made. Um, Gabby brings it over here, uses the grinder and cuts it down to size. Um, nothing fantastic or scientific but effective um, up here above him is the uh, the other two carpenter guys uh, mr alex and mr allen and they are uh, continuing to install the uh, fiber cement board uh, wall cladding up there as well <coughs> pieces need to be cut and fabricated to mix uh, to match the corners of the um, the curve there mr. Gabby gets the, uh, the the pencil lines from mr. Jojo it gets cut into place and ready to go down here in the front mr. Anai Bato, Mr. Chucks is continuing to work his uh, work his magic, roughing in the conduit for the uh, power outlets that are going to go around the uh, fence uh, exterior fence wall. So these are on the inside of the fence, but outside the house, and not on the nice pretty stone. Um, as I mentioned before, we've got the front porch uh, getting ready to be uh, poured got here this morning it's already three quarters done like i said when we left yesterday afternoon we almost made it um so they're finishing it up first thing this morning um so the gentleman here with the uh the long extended paintbrush is mr jr otherwise known as junior um he is put in the initial coat of paint uh probably a prime coat yep that's what it says here on the bottom in the boysen so you can see we're using a boysen permacoat otherwise known as a uh, it's a flat latex white paint um, they are using it up on the top <clears throat> a little bit of protection over the uh, top of the basic uh, fiber cement board so inside the house we've got mr. Jericho continuing to work on the attic space uh, plaster coating as well as well he's not here at the moment uh, mr. Joel is continuing to work this section and going to continue the way around um, he's got a small section down here that he's working before that so we've got uh, three guys up here it's mr. Jericho mr. Joel will be over here shortly and mr. Jerome is running all of their um, mortar plaster coat needs uh, with the materials so part of regularly doing business on a construction site you end up with a large debris pile ours got picked up today right there on the truck so that's a nice thing front of the house is clean again 
Um, so, yes, on, on occasion, the uh, we have to call the uh, to get a trash truck picked up, uh, a, a construction debris pickup, and this is uh, taken care of under our contract with the engineer. All right, so Andrew, I'm going to zoom in on this for you. Um, so this is what I was talking about. They were I'm, I'm calling it a miter cut. It's not. I don't think it's really a miter. It's just 45 degree uh, cuts on the cement or on the the stone cladding. Um, right here on the side the two on the top are already done from the front uh, They're already cut at a 45 degree angle. So when Jojo gets ready to put on the next uh, the next two on that end um, Gabby's gonna take it over to the grinder and um, Cut that side at 45 degrees so they'll match up and then he's coming back in with it with uh, tile adhesive on the back on both and then comes over the top on the front corner you can see here, right here, he put uh, some tile adhesive on the front corner to go ahead and seal that, that corner in. All right, the uh, tinsmiths made it back today, and we are continuing with the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we are continuing with the, the gutter install. They're working their way down the west side of the house now. And now that we've got cement, uh, we're working back on plaster coat. Some, Mr. Carlito is picked back up in the on the outside of the fence wall and we're starting to work that as these guys continue. All right, looks like we got a delivery come in. Hi, good morning. So this is going to be the uh, screen that they're using for the uh, attic insulation. So they're doing a, a screen on the inside, uh, keep the bugs and the rodents out. Welded wire mesh. We got several rolls here. They're gonna put this on on the underside before they put in the um, before they put in the what do you want to call it the baked potato <laughs> uh, tin foil um, styrofoam insulation that they use here. So this will go in first. All right, up here on the front, the uh, stone cladding is done across the top. Uh, next step is gonna be down the columns at some point. I'm not sure if he's going to start that today or where we're getting started on it, but it'll be the same as they did here on this corner. So it'll be 45 degree angles on both on the ends and working uh, all the way down. Uh, up here on the front, the uh, welders are working on the grinding, uh, trying to get rid of all the uh, slag uh, from the tack welds uh, so that when they get ready to do the painting on it, it'll all be nice and smooth. Looks like young Mr. Ben here is working on the uh, fence columns, um, cutting the excess rebar off of the top and putting sides up. They're going to pour concrete on this and go ahead and finish off the top. Um, the engineer told me yesterday that they're going to have the uh, molding uh, to go around the side. It's going to be a circular molding. Um, same design as the uh, window molding but in a circular fashion around the top um, which should go well with the lights that we have up here the big remember the the, uh, the globes the the gold globes with the uh, the black uh, iron exteriors uh, so this is what mr. Ben is working on today use the hacksaw and cut it down to size and then they'll cover up the rest with uh, concrete so the gentleman here in the uh, red shorts is uh, measuring, uh, taking, making a drawing sketch and measuring the uh, the eaves um, for the spandrel ceiling uh, that's going to go, going to go here on the eaves. So they call it um, kissame. Yeah, they call it kissame. Kiss me. Kiss me. <laughs> kiss me. Bad English pronunciation. Kiss me, but it, it kissame. Um, so that's what's going to be on the ceiling of the eaves so he's doing the measurements now so we can get those ordered and uh, get them delivered here soon all right so a little better perspective up here uh, mr joseph and mr Merovic down here are working the uh, bracing up here on the uh, floor joists uh, same like they did right over here so they'll tack those in do the long welds on them later get it all painted make this a little stronger so they don't uh, flip side to side. All right, so out here on the front, on the front porch patio, 
the front porch. No, it's not patio, front porch. Um, I was talking to you guys earlier about the 45 degree angles up here on the corners. Um, it's easier to show you now that they started on the bottom going around the, uh, going around the post. So as they're going around the post, what they're doing is cutting these, cutting the tiles at a 45 degree angle or as close as they can to it um, using a, a grinder. And then they're coming in here and putting it all together. Uh, this using uh, a little bit of cement and uh, tile adhesive. So let's go take a look at what Mr. Jojo is doing on the back with the grinder. Siempre? foyer area they're starting to put the uh, braces in place like I showed you guys earlier today uh, these are the the new braces uh, right yeah right here, this one here. Um, they're also doing it here on the sides of the wall they'll they'll put them in this place hammer it in tight and then go back behind it and weld it in see the guys there you are they'll weld it in place they'll come back in a little bit and do uh, the long walls on it. So those are making those strong so that the uh, this way the the two by four studs don't flip one way or the other. And out here on the front, Mr. Jonah is doing some more painting, and getting all the uh, prime coat put in place on the uh, front fence grills. So these were the new ones they delivered yesterday, <clears throat> and he's uh, putting the prime coat on it. The uh, Sinepa is almost done being painted, uh, at least with the uh, first initial coat of paint. Um, 
Mr. Junior, JR, here started out this morning just on the other side of this uh, front porch area. So he started out over here in the corner, or right here on this corner, started around and went down that way. So he was gone all the way around the house today and almost finished. So he's uh, working his way back around the front door here. He'll be done shortly. Over here, Mr. Mr. Ben is working on the uh, column posts, the front fence posts, uh, getting them chipped down to the proper height uh, so that we can put uh, forms and concrete on them once he gets them down to the right height. And this is what the tops of those are going to look like. All right. So that's what Mr. Ben is working on.
All right, we had a good focus today on getting the uh, stone wall cladding and doing miter joints on it so that we ended up with these nice 45 degree-ish angles on the corners. This way these two come together very nicely and uh, it's gonna have a good look. It's all nice seams on the corners. What you think, Miss Emmy? You like it? Yep. Okay. This is um, about as high as these are gonna go. Um, if you look, they're probably right at about four foot off the ground, uh, or off of the cement, off of the deck here. Um, so probably what we're gonna end up, it's gonna look like a, the, uh, the old craftsman feel. Uh, so we're gonna end up with um, just the bases. And then we're gonna have the paint here in the middle. And then from the other side, <clears throat> so that it's not uh, a monotonous thing of wall cladding, wall cladding, wall cladding, wall cladding. Um, we're going to give it a break here, put some uh, paint or something else here. A little bit different feel. Uh, so tomorrow, Mr. Jojo here is going to continue on this side. So he's working on this, getting started. At least get the base of it up uh, before uh, the bell rings. And then... Uh, you can see he's already got it marked uh, where the level's going to go. Looks like he's going one more above that. So, um, yeah, this is looking out, turning out really nicely. All right, guys, it's uh, Yabba Dabba Do time. Guys are uh, packing up stuff and beating feet, getting out of here. Um, been a long day, hot day. We had good weather all day. No, uh, none of the wet stuff. So it's been a great day um got a lot of things done today i uh, believe y'all seen them all uh going through the video um primary focus on today was watching the uh miter cutting of the uh, front porch the miter cutting the stone wall cladding uh, so that was something new um wanted to make sure that a lot of people have seen it um basically it's basically what the way they do it here is with a, a, a hand grinder uh, grind the corners down to 45 degrees, try to get two of them to match up really nicely, uh, put the uh, tile adhesive in it, and good to go from there. Uh, so he's got one of them done uh, today, and we're going to continue with the other column uh, tomorrow. So uh, come back tomorrow. We've got more stuff going on. Uh, they are continuing with the uh, gutter, the hidden gutters, putting those in, and continuing with the bracing for the steel floor framing up in the attic space. So lots of stuff going on if y'all like today's video please give us a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more of these videos hit the costa texpina star right over here and you'll be subscribed hit the bell icon just below the view screen you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure so until we see you tomorrow morning you guys have a great afternoon and god bless tower this is ghost rider requesting a flyby negative ghost rider the pattern is full